guys, it's Tori Williams, and we are here at the West Philly YMCA. We are at 17 Days of Fashion Presents, Barbers Who Care. Check out all the kids, they're getting their free haircuts just in time for back to school. Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm celebrity fashion stylist Anthony Henderson with the YMCA. It is going down. Just would like to shout out to all the barbers who care. We appreciate you guys. Another year going down. So I'm here with Sean, the barber. Hi, Sean. How are you? How you doing? <laughs> how, long, how many years have you been doing this event? <laughs> well, four years now. Okay. And what barbershop are you from? Main Attraction. Gotcha. And what about this event do you love? Why do you keep coming back to do it? I love giving back to my community and seeing like young brothers like this come out and you know give back. Awesome. Thank you so much, Sean. This is Mixlop Production. Jamal, a.k.a. Maul. What's up, Maul? One more a.k.a. Hey, what's up? <laughs> One more a.k.a. Max Level Maul. Oh, uh, Ma excuse me. Right. What barbershop are you at? Maximum Level. Okay. Barbershop, 50th and Westminster. Nice. In West Philadelphia area. Okay. Yep. How many years have you been doing this event? Uh, this is my first year doing this event. Oh, wow. And I'm loving it. It's absolutely awesome. Uh, books here for the youth. Mm -hmm. uh, book bags. Great barbers. They have some of the best barbers in the city here. Yeah, I hear you're one of them. Word on the street. Oh, okay, thank you. That's a, that's a good word. I appreciate that okay, word. Okay. Very good, very good. Well, yeah. welcome, and we hope you come back and join us thank again. You. I really appreciate awesome. it. Awesome. All right, now, guys, I'm here with Chink the Barber. Hey, Chink, how hey. are you? How you doing today? Good. So how many years have you been doing this event? Um, right now, this is, what, my fifth, sixth year? Oh, doing excellent. It? Yeah, I've been here from the start. Excellent. Yeah. And what draws you to it? Why do you love it? I'm passionate about it. My grandma, I'm raised by my grandma. She always told me, in order to continue to get blessed, you got to pay back your blessings. Amen. And I'm completely, I'm truly blessed. So I like to come out and see the smile on the kid's face, work with some of my fellow um, barber brothers, sponsors, donate stuff, and just coming out and just seeing everybody. That's and great. definitely Anthony from 17 Days of Fashion. He's a cool individual. So anything I can do to help people, I'm just always willing to do. Awesome. And real quick, your barbershop? Tom Cheryl Groomer Studio, 1430 West Dolphin Street, North Philly, Temple University. Nice. Thank you. All right, guys, now I am here with the brains of the operation, Mr. Kenny the Barber. Kenny, what's up? How you doing? How you doing? Thank you. Thanks for all your hospitality. Thank, Thank you. For you. Of, of course. Care. Appreciate it. For those who didn't know, 17 Days of Fashion, this is the last event of 17 Days of Fashion called Barbers Who Care. We have a bunch of barbers who, guess what, who care. Our opportunity was to give back to the community and actually be a pillar of the community. Today is a day when we actually band together as over 20 different barbers mm -hmm. from each end of the city. We have even somebody who drove all the way down from Ohio, came all the way down from Ohio to nice. show their support. We want to give back to the community as well. We don't, we're not just giving out free haircuts. Mm -hmm. We're giving out free book bags. We're giving out books. And guess what else it's causing them? It's causing these little boys to go back to school with a higher self-esteem. Exactly. That's, That's important to us. Also, we want to change the culture mm -hmm. by letting parents know that it's important for boys to be reading. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if everybody knows about the statistics. 89% of boys are behind in reading, especially if you come from a low-income neighborhood and a low-income household. What happens is you may not have the resources to help your child get over those humps that need to get over. It's important for us to make sure we're reading with our kids because the government actually determines the success of that person's life based on his third grade reading scores. Mm. Third grade reading scores. Boys end up being behind more than girls. Mm -hmm. You don't have this problem as much no, as we do. But I have a son, so. So here's, what, here's, here's <laughs> what we have to be aware of. Because we know that the government reallocates funds based on our children's third grade reading scores, the Philadelphia Free Library has charged us with an initiative called the Read by Fourth initiative to make sure young boys are reading proficiency, proficiently by the age of nine. Because if not, the government doesn't support them as much as they would with education. Think about this. Every time you want to go to a charter school, what do you got to do? Take a test. The biggest thing they're looking for is the reading proficiency of our kids. So if we want to help change our culture and make sure that our boys are successful in the future, make sure they're improving their reading skills. And here's the reason why. A lot of people are like, why? Why? Why reading? Why reading? Why not math? Why not science? Reading is so important because it talks about your reading comprehension level and your ability to communicate with other people. 
Now, of a young boy or even an old man, if he's in a position where he cannot communicate well with somebody who's in authority or trying to give him instructions, mm -hmm. he's going to be left to feel frustrated because he can't understand and he's going to be left to be misunderstood. It's the main reason why people respond with aggression to some simple instructions. It's the reason why we have a lot of issues with the police today. one of our probably most important vendors. This is Read by Four. You heard Kenny, uh, the barber, talking about this earlier uh, in the program. Right now, I'm with Gigi and Symphony. Hi, ladies, how are you? Hi, how are you? Tell us a little bit about your program. Sure, so Read by Fourth is a citywide uh, group of over 80 organizations, big and small, working together to ensure that all children are reading on grade level by the time they enter fourth grade. We partner with the um, Children's Hospital, with the School District of Philadelphia and other organizations. And for this event, we donate books, um, as well as give resources to parents and know about free events across the city, and also our Read and Ring, which is an opportunity for children to call the mayor and leave a voicemail message telling him about a book that they've read over the summer or they're currently reading and uh, they may get a shout out they leave their name and age he may give them a shout out while he's out in the community so anything that we can connect uh, families to resources that support literacy um, and even literacy skills for parents um, so what we are trying to start is our community helpers literacy kit which would be placed in barber shops or salons throughout different communities and when kids come in they can um, play with some of the things in the literacy kits. Um, they have letters, they can put together words and it's ultimately trying to create a reading environment in the community within the barber shops and the salons. Gotcha. Well ladies kudos, thank you so much for the great work you're doing in our community for our young kids. Cool. Stay with us, we'll be right back.